manufacturing in cities creates this perfect platform for people to earn livelihoods and to create a platform for more equitable economic prosperity. I'm Kate Sophus, I'm co-founder and CEO of SF Made. SF Made is a public-private partnership with the City of San Francisco to help manufacturers start, grow, and stay right here in San Francisco. SF Made really provides wraparound resources for manufacturers that sets us apart from other small business support organizations who provide more generalized support. Everything we do has really been developed over time by listening and thinking about what manufacturers need to grow. For example, we'll do very uh, traditional economic development things like helping companies access capital, find small business loans, provide technical business advising and education. We have had some great experience doing what you might call pop-ups or temporary selling events. Uh, and maybe the most recent example was one that we did as part of SF Made Week in partnership with the city's Office of Small Business, where we created a 100-company uh, selling day right here at City Hall um, in partnership with Mayor Lee and the Board of Supervisors. And it was just a wonderful opportunity for many of our smaller manufacturers who may be one or two person shops and who don't have the wherewithal to have their own dedicated retail store to really have a place to show their product and to access new customers. For us, it still comes back to how do we help companies get more uh, more, more money into their businesses, develop more customers and more relationships so that they can grow, so that they can hire here in San Francisco. I'm Amy Cashel, and uh, I've been uh, the owner of Amy Cashel San Francisco for about 18 years now. We make everything here in San Francisco. We started our line with um, wedding gowns, I think you can see behind me. And uh, about a year ago, we launched a ready-to-wear collection. San Francisco is a great place to do business uh, in terms of clientele. We have really wonderful brides uh, from all walks of life and, and doing really interesting things. Architects, doctors, lawyers, teachers, artists, um, other like-minded entrepreneurs. So really, really fantastic women to work with. I think it's important for them to know where their clothes are made and how they're made. My name is Jefferson McCarley, and I'm the general manager of Mission Bicycle Company. We sell bikes made here for people that ride here. Essentially, we sell city bikes made for riding in urban environments. Our core business really is to build bikes specifically for each individual. We care a lot about craftsmanship, we care a lot about quality, we care a lot about good design, and people respond to that. And when people come in, we like to spend time with them going to the what we call the design wall. And we throw all the components up there and we can talk about handlebar setups and we can talk about the writing position. They can see the colors coming together and we take notes all over the wall. It's a pretty fun shopping experience. For me as a designer, I love the control. I can walk into the workroom every morning, see what everyone's working on, talk to my cutter, my pattern maker, work really closely on the designs. Going through the sewing room, I'm looking at it, Runkamon's looking at it, everyone on the team is kind of getting involved and in how does that drape look? Is this what she's expecting if we've maybe made some customizations to address, which is something we can do because we're here making everything locally. Over the years, we've become really uh, a big tech city and with so much change with technology and social media and it's incredibly exciting and um, it's a great place to be, but it's also, um, you know, you constantly have to really pay attention and focus on, on where things are going and what, what the right decisions are for, for own, as a business owner. Sometimes it's appropriate to bring in an expert and um, to offer suggestions and guidance and coaching and counseling 
And then other times, we just need to talk to each other. We need to talk to other manufacturers that are facing similar problems. Other people that are in the trenches, just like us. And so that I can share with them a solution that we came up with to manage our inventory and they can share with me uh, an idea that they had about how to overcome another problem. Moving forward, uh, where we see ourselves down the road, maybe five and 10 years, is really um, looking at our business uh, from a little bit more of a ready to wear perspective and making things with, that are really thoughtful and mindful, mindful of the end user, how they're gonna use it, whether it's the ready to wear piece or a wedding gown, are they gonna wear it again? And, um, and incorporating all that into the collection. So, um, so that's, that's pretty exciting for us and, and that's the direction I see our business going. The real reason we are so enamored with the work we do is we really do see it as creating a platform for change and making this city everything it has always been and making sure that we are sharing the opportunities that we've been so blessed to have economically and culturally with as many people as possible, broadening that platform.